for many of you out there that slouch, shoulders forward, hunch back, this is a good tip for you. Hi everyone, Dr. David Cullah here with Synergy Wellness. We have a great question. How do ergonomics affect your acid reflux, your hiatal hernia, your GERD? Great question. Thanks to this young man here. Well, we won't share his name, just privacy reasons. He's given us the, re the green light to film this and we're gonna treat his acid reflux, but we're gonna go over ergonomics as well. I've done videos on that. I'm a certified ergonomics assessment specialist an advanced one. I've done ergonomic studies for a lot of different companies, big companies here in New York. So that being said, you had asked me, you said that you were, uh, here, have a seat right here. You said that you were um, on your computer. Show me how. Yeah. So I've got a standing desk that slides. So okay. when I would stand and put the keyboard right here. Um, and when I would sit, similarly, I'd have the keyboard, I guess, here. So lower down, um, less bending of the elbow. Okay, so he has two issues going on. Ulnar neuropathy down the, the right arm, numbness into the pinky, right? Yeah. But how does ergonomics affect a hiatal hernia and GERD? Well, when you're slouching at a chair, that's going to affect it. So really, that's the only ergonomic correction I would say make. For those of you suffering from GERD, acid reflux, that sit in front of a computer all day, roll up a towel. I did a great video on that, like a short video on that. You take a towel the long way, you fold it threefold, and you roll it up in a nice tight roll, put a rubber band around it, and put that behind your mid-back, right where your diaphragm is. And that way, you prevent the slouching. You're sitting back against it, and then it'll force you to sit back against the chair. Uh, if you can't see your screen, you probably need a bigger screen, okay? But that being said, I've done ergonomics videos. I've done a couple of them. Make sure you watch those. But on my website, I also have an ergonomics test. So you can go on corporate wellness and you can actually take an ergonomics test on the website and it'll go over wrist angle and all that. But you don't want your, el you don't want your hands like this, your elbows here. You want your elbows at a 90 degree angle and your elbow in at your side. When you bring your elbow away, away from your side, you're contracting the muscles up across the top of your shoulder. So all it takes is a 10 degrees away from the body and or more, and it contracts that muscle and you're going to have a lot of tension across the top of your shoulder. So if you have, if you're working on a computer and you have a lot of neck tension, bring your elbows in, move your uh, armrests in if you have to. If you don't have armrests that move in, get a new chair, an ergonomic chair. Okay. That being said, it's not an ergonomic chair if the armrests don't move up and in. Bottom cushion should move forward, but that's stretching it. If it doesn't, it's still ergonomic. There should be a lumbar support behind you, but you'll need that additional towel to help you with the GERD, the acid reflux. And do it on the couch too while you're watching um, Netflix or whatever, binge watching. Don't slouch, okay? That's how ergonomics affects hiatal hernia, acid reflux. So right now I'm sitting. This is yep. my default way to sit, and I can sense I'm probably slouching a bit. Let's, I mean. No, let's... your posture is pretty good. Okay. Your posture is not the issue. So we know by his posture that it's probably not posture creating his hiatal hernia. But for many of you out there that slouch, shoulders forward, hunch back, this is a good tip for you. Hope that helps. Thanks for tubing in. Thank you guys so much. If you got anything from this video, or even if you just like this view of the Empire State Building and the Chrysler Building, give me a like and don't forget to subscribe. Appreciate you guys.